conversation about white, right? Like is, is the thing people miss and like this conversation is becoming cliche. And I like posted on Twitter yesterday being like your hot take on this card should be white is like not a good take and is now becoming honestly tedious. But like white's problem is it's best way of card advantage, which is like micro reanimation is like so redundant that it lowers variety. And then it's best powerful thing is stacks. Right. And like, it's not, it's the same thing as like, if your best thing is mass discard, like that's not fun. So people are going to think this is a bad color because people will stop playing it because their friends will stop hanging out with them. Hence why I took apart Gaddick Teague. But I kind of big mana decks, which I'm sure annoy so many people that like, you know, dropping land after land after land so that you can drop some sort of nightmare creature. Like that's, I'm sure there's somebody who's just as annoyed by that as I am by stacks. So I think a lot of it is just reconciling those, those, differences and like having a variety of decks to play with i mean it's why it's real good at life gain too gains life real well life gain yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) white gains a lot of life real well yeah so i I do think yes i think i think and this is i guess we didn't touch upon this earlier and i wanted to but we were like rolling through stuff is like one of the interesting things is because commander commander is an internal format that like has a very casual response to banning cards right like not and by casual well Casual, literally, right? Like, they're focusing on banning cards to, to cultivate the game for the casual audience. But also, it's not like Legacy or Modern or Vintage where they were banning cards because they were trying to keep the format rota- moving and, and moving forward and not becoming stagnated. And, and Commander inherently can't be that because it's a 100-card singleton format. But because of that also just like, and this is the problem they're having with printing good white cards, right? Back to that conversation is, is that like they're, they're competing not against like the standard environment or even the modern environment where one or two good cards in that color are going to found decks around it, like unbanning Stoneforge mystic. But in commander, it's, Oh no, no, every single card ever printed other than anti cards, conspiracy cards, and these 12 banned cards <laughs> are what every right. card we print is competing against. And we don't, we can't afford to print a white card that is as good as Gaia's Cradle. We yeah, can't, right. we, we can't, we can't like, and the cards that are that good that we're printing Hall Breacher and Bizarre Trader, not Bizarre Trader, Darkside Extortionist are arguably mistakes <laughs> like we shouldn't like it's not that we should be printing cards at that power level we have made a mistake and printed a card that is so good that is now made red the best color in commander whoops <laughs> well, white got, i mean white got white got smothering tithe right yeah. yeah yeah and 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 that's kind of their point like we're slowly going to introduce cards as we figure out our, what white's best spaces to play in that are good in this space and smothering tie is a good example of that uh, yeah. uh anointed procession is another good example um the like weird enchantment that turns every token into a four four angel is cool like there's like there's cool stuff white is doing but they wizards a can't allow it to all happen at once just because it, standard would just become the white white light white would be the best color in standard for three years <laughs> well there's also i mean there's I'll go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I, I, I just feel like I, I, I kind of feel similarly to you on the the like make white better thing. I feel like it it, it is going to be a slow process. Like mm-hmm. there's no way that they can just dump everything they need in a single set. Uh, and it, you know, in five years, we could be sitting here talking about how like white is the most uh, like oppressively broken color in Commander if we're not too careful oh. and we like badger too much about I'm- it. I'm going to hate the discourse in 2023 on how good white is now and how like, oh, magic's terrible. White's too good. I'm going to hate it. I'm going to hate it so much. <laughs> also keep in mind, though, that there's there are like certain things, too, that white over the years got. So like you talk about a guy's cradle and how good guy's cradle is and as a green card, right? Like uh, what that means. But you also can think about some of the things that white has gotten over the years that are just inherently good in white. And like we take them for granted. We take for granted the fact that white has like both swords and path. You even take for granted a card like uh, Luminarch Ascension, which is like was not intended to be as good as it is, but in Commander, it's really good. That's a really Great good card, white yeah. card that's incidentally extremely powerful in the format of Commander. So it's crept up in the way that so many other cards have in the other colors. And I think white just has probably less of them. But, you know, white's got two Armageddons. It's got like all these things that other colors don't really get as much yeah, access to. I think I think the complaint with white and this week, t- I did not want to get into a white command <laughs> white conversation. But since we're here, uh, I think the issue with white is that some of the things that it does powerful aren't really that fun. 
and yeah. and Armageddon's or, really or they're boring or they're like because they got a uh, Draineth magistrate right that's the like you can't cast commanders if this yeah. is in play like that card's bonkers but also if you're not playing CDH people will be mad at you if you cast that card and yeah. like speaking to what you were speaking towards Ben like me being able to like me casting Nevermore against a player with their commander like literally will just make them not want to play magic with me ever again and so like the things that white can do in commander right now that are powerful are often unfun. And like, yes, Path and Swords exist, but like Path to Swords doesn't compete against every blue counter spell. It just doesn't. And it doesn't yeah. compete against like, like it, it, it does in the sense that you only get a hundred cards and white has like four auto includes, but it, it does kind of show people are wanting variety in power level from white more than necessarily actual power level. Yeah. I think some of it is almost becoming like, White is becoming this like blank slate. People are projecting all of their desires in magic onto where it's just like, oh, white needs to become this color. That's this. It's that. It's like it seems like it's something different hypothetically to every person that I see talk about it online. And in the same vein that like the commander community tends to freak out about cards that they think are too powerful. I think we also tend to like overlook things that are just okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so it feels like white either needs to like, like they people think that it either needs to become a powerhouse nightmare color overnight or else we failed. And I just like, I think it should be a slower, more reserved process because I'd rather have one color that needs some work than one that results in a bunch of bands or something. Yeah. And, and like, there's a reason blue white is one of the most powerful competitive magic color combos in magic Ever. history, right? Like if yeah. I were to rank best two color combos and not, not like gold cards, but literally just like most tournament success color combos, blue white is up there and it might mm-hmm. be the top, uh, like blue, maybe red, blue is higher. Maybe, maybe. Uh, and then like, and it's definitely not nearly as consistent as blue white is. And, and the reason for that is, is because white can answer anything and blue can get you cards. <laughs> and so that's what that's what Wizards is terrified of like giving white just like a divination, right? Like is is what happens when white is able to just like dig for all of the answers they could ever need because they can answer anything. And 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 white's other thing is like white is white's problem and one of the reasons that every single card could be a white card is cuz white actually has the largest space of things it's allowed to do it just can't be as good as the other colors at it It is allowed to do what most of like it can destroy it can it can exile any permanent right like that's the it's the only one that gets to do that and 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 even lands it can destroy lands at, at four, with armageddon but like it does it at three mana and then it makes it with an enchantment and that enchantment if you get rid of it you get your thing back versus black which gets it for four mana and just it's gone at common now <laughs> uh and yeah. at rare you gain two life <laughs> which could be a white card God. <laughs> um, but so it's it's like a weird it's like figuring out how to make what's white doing I think it's just variety I think that's the real answer I think what that's what red did right they they didn't just like add rummaging right they added rummaging and they added exile and they added exile until the beginning of your next turn and they added um, stuff that like like creatures that like let you do flashbacks. They you know they they added Snapcaster Mage mechanics to the mechanic. They added chaos stuff. They added um cool interactions with exile. They add like they added thousand like thirty different. They added Planeswalker Tribal with Sarkon <laughs> and Chandra. So like they've added a bunch of different cool stuff to red. And I think that's what white needs. It needs a bunch of cool yeah. stuff. Not not necessarily um want like like card draw i don't i don't think that's the answer I, I think the answer is like what's cool and and they're trying right i think smothering ties is a great answer getting stuff when people don't pay mana that they get to pay mana for is a cool mechanic because it's not valia um where it's like you can't play something with money it's like i get something if you don't yeah right this has been a production of time traveler media sending podcasts into the future